In this video, we have a look at the equation of a straight line and see how we can draw such a line based on the equation and how to find the equation if you know the line. Suppose that you like to rent a car. The basic fee to rent this car is $10, which means that you have to pay at least $10 to rent this car. Then, for every mile you drive, you have to pay $0.10, cents, or $0.1 per mile. So, how much do you need to pay if you drive 20 miles? We have to pay the basic fee plus the fact that we drive 20 miles, which will cost us $2 because 0.1 times 20 is 2. The total price to drive 20 miles is therefore $12. We can use the following equation to calculate the price to rent the car. Y represents the price to rent the car for a certain number of miles. B is the basic starting fee we have to pay no matter how much we drive. M is the price per mile. And X is the number of miles that we drive. Since we in this example know that the basic fee is $10, we set B to 10. And since we know that the price per mile is $0.1, we can set M to 0.1. Let's use this equation to calculate how much we have to pay if you drive 100 miles. We therefore set x to 100 and do the math. We see that the total cost is $20 if you drive 100 miles. Let's take another example where the basic fee is now $3, whereas the price per mile is $0.5 or 50 cents. This is the corresponding equation to calculate the price to rent the car for a certain number of miles. For example, if we drive 10 miles, we see that we have to pay $8. We'll now try to represent this equation as a straight line in this plot, where we have the price on the y-axis and the number of miles we drive on the x-axis. To draw a straight line, we need to know two points in this graph. If we, for example, set x to 2, we see that y is equal to 4. Our first point in this graph is therefore located here, because our equation told us that if x is equal to 2, y should be equal to 4. Now, let's instead set x to 4 which results in the following point, because the equation tells us that if we set x to 4, y should be equal to 5. We can now draw a straight line through the two data points. This line represents this equation. Note that we will get the exact same line if we use two points with other x-coordinates. For example, if we set x to 0, We'll put the first point here because y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 0. And if we set x to 5, we should place the second data point here because the equation tells us that if x is equal to 5, y is equal to 5.5. Then we draw a line through the two data points, which will result in the exact same line as before. We can now make use of this line to estimate the price to rent the car. Suppose that we like to know the price to drive 4 miles. We then draw a vertical line where x is equal to 4 until we hit the red line. Then we draw a horizontal line until we hit the y-axis. This tells us that if we drive 4 miles, we have to pay $5. We'll come to the exact same conclusion if we set x to 4 in this equation and do the math. We can therefore either use the line or the equation to estimate the price. We can even do the other way around. Suppose that we only have $6. How far can we then drive the car? We therefore draw a horizontal line until we hit the red line and then the vertical line like this. We see that we can drive 6 miles if we have $6. To estimate the same thing by using the equation, we need to set y to 6 and solve the equation for x, which is a bit more complicated compared to using the line to estimate the same thing. 
we will now try to interpret m and b. m is usually called a coefficient because it is multiplied by x, whereas b is called a constant. In our example, m is equal to 0 0.5, which tells us the price per mile, and b is equal to 3, which tells us the basic fee we have to pay to rent the car, no matter how many miles we drive. In the equation of a straight line, b represents where the line intercepts the y-axis. This is because if you set x to 0, y is equal to 3. The intercept of the line is therefore equal to 3. m represents the slope or the gradient of the line, which means that if x increases by 1 unit, y increases by 0.5. Since x has the unit miles and y has the unit dollars, this means that if you drive 1 mile, the price increases by 0 0.5 dollars. Likewise, if x increases by 4 units, y increases by 2. In our example, this means that if you drive 4 miles, the price increases by 2 dollars. This type of equation is therefore sometimes expressed like this, where m is the slope and b is the intercept. Since we know that the corresponding line to the following equation should intercept the y-axis at 3 and has a slope of 0 0.5, we can also draw the line based on this information. Since the equation tells us that the line has an intercept of 3, which means that the line should intercept the y-axis at 3, when x is equal to 0. We can put our starting point of the line here. We can now draw a line that increases by 0.5y for every increase in x. Starting from this point, this means that if we draw the line from 0 to 1x, y should increase from 3 to 3.5, and then we draw a line from 1x to 2x where y should increase from 3.5 to 4, and so forth. Now, suppose that you like to compare the price of two companies. Company A takes a fee of $5 to rent the car for a whole day. It does therefore not matter how much you drive that day, the price is still the same. Since you do not have to pay anything for each mile you drive, m is here equal to zero. When m is equal to 0, we can eliminate this term, which simplifies the equation to this. This equation tells us that the price is constant. Since the fee is $5, we can set b to 5. In comparison, company b has a lower fee, but you have to pay 50 cents per mile. The corresponding equation for this company looks like this because the price per mile is $0.5 and the starting fee is $2. If you draw the corresponding line of this equation, which has an intercept of 2 and a slope of 0 0.5, then the line looks like this. The corresponding line of this equation looks like this, which is simply a horizontal line that tells us that the price to rent the car from company A is $5 per day, no matter how far you drive that day. Suppose that you know that you should drive 4 miles. Which company should you select to get the cheapest price? When we have drawn these lines, it is very simple to see that we should select company B, because the price would then be only $4. We can see that if we drive 6 miles, it does not matter which company we select. If we would drive longer than 6 miles, it will always be cheaper to rent a car from company A. So far we have seen an example of a positive slope, which means that y increases when x increases. We have also seen an example where the slope is zero, which means that y does not change when x is increased. We'll now have a look at an example where we have a negative slope, which means that y decreases when x is increasing. Suppose that you want to drive a long distance, and you know that you have 20 gallons in the tank. 
We also know that the fuel consumption is 3 gallons per 100 miles, or 0 0.03 gallons per mile. The equation for calculating how much fuel we have left in the tank can be described like this, where y represents how much fuel we have in the tank. And this term represents that for each mile we drive, the fuel in the tank is reduced by 0 0.03 gallons. This constant represents how much fuel we have before we begin our trip. We can represent the equation by the following line. Because we know that the line should intercept the y-axis at 20, and that y should be reduced by 0 0.03 for every increase in x, or by 3 if x is increased by 100. We see that we can drive about 660 miles before we run out of fuel. This can be calculated if we set y to 0, and solve for x. Finally, we'll see how we can find the equation of a straight line. So, what is the equation of the following line? Since the line intercepts the y-axis at 4, we know that b should be equal to 4. Since the line increases by 0.25y for every increase in x, or that y increases by 1 if x is increased by 4, we know that m should be equal to 0.25. We have therefore found the equation of the line. However, it might sometimes be hard to see the slope of the line. Another way to find the slope is to select two points on the line. Suppose that we select these two points on the line, where the first point, the point to the left, has an x-coordinate of 0 and a y-coordinate of 4, whereas the second data point in this example has an x-coordinate of 4 and a y-coordinate of 5. We then plug in the coordinates in this equation and do the math to find the slope of the line. Note that we would have got the same result if we flipped the values of the coordinates of the two points. If you happen to know the slope of the line, but not its intercept, you can select any point on the line and plug in its x and y coordinates in the equation and solve the equation for b. 0 0.25 times 4 is 1. If you move this one to the left hand side, we see that b is equal to 4, which means that the line intercepts the y axis at 4. Finally, we'll see how we can find the equation of the following straight line. We see that the line intercepts the y axis at 6, which means that we set b to 6. Since the line points down to the right, we know that the line has a negative slope. Since y decreases by 1 unit when x increases by 1, m is equal to negative 1. The equation therefore simplifies to this, where we see that the slope is equal to negative 1 and the intercept is equal to 6. This was the end of this lecture about the equation of a straight line. Thanks for watching.